we're definitely in the core of Hurricane Ian. You can hear the roar, it's a steady roar. Judging by the direction of the wind, it appears we're either in the north side or the northeast quadrant of the, the eye of Hurricane Ian, and it is trying its best to get its way inside of our hotel. These large, beautiful doors pushed to their limit. These crossbars are the only thing keeping them from being bursting open. You can see at the very top, the doors are already beyond the frame. It's like the doors are breathing. Each gust of wind, it pushes out, and then it goes back, pushes out, and goes back. Another problem, this hotel has sprung a lot of leaks. This is a great example of this light fixture here, this chandelier. It's like a fountain. Just dripping a constant steady stream of water upstairs where the rooms are located on the floor. There's about an inch of water covering the floor as well. This hotel was built back in the 1920s. Beautiful hotel, very solid building. We have nothing really to fear from this wind other than these windows and, and doors that the staff has put, again, those bars and also new furniture, beautiful wood furniture, pushing against these windows and doors to try and keep this wind out. But it continues to get fiercer and fiercer as we get closer and closer to dawn. Right now we're locked inside. We're unable to go out, not only because of conditions, also though because of the rules. And here in Cuba, this is a place you really want to follow the rules. But once dawn comes, we're going to make our way outside and see the wreckage that Hurricane Ian has brought here to the island of Cuba. In Pinado Rio, I'm Jonathan Petromal.